What's going on guys, this is Mike Noid, and today we're going to be talking about Fossil Fighters on the Nintendo DS. The Nintendo DS is the most popular handheld of all time. It sold over 150 million units, making it Nintendo's best selling gaming system, at least at the time of making this video. So many people grew up with the DS, including myself. The game library is just too darn impressive to ignore. You have the obvious classics like New Super Mario Bros, Mario Kart DS, and just about all the mainline Pokemon titles. Jesus Christ, these prices are out of control! Those are some of my favorite titles for sure, but today I'm going to talk about a title you probably haven't heard of, Fossil Fighters. There's a good chance you might have seen this T-Rex with the mohawk. Its most recent appearance was in Super Smash Bros Ultimate as a spirit. In total, there are three Fossil Fighter games in the series, but today we'll be focused on the very first title, which was released on August 10th of 2009 in North America. The cover of the case pretty much sums up what this game is about. Fossil Fighters is all about finding and digging up fossils, collecting the bones from said fossils, which you can use to revive the dinosaur they belong to, which will turn them into vivasaurs and use them in battle. I know this sounds like Pokemon with extra steps. Well, that's because it is. You play as a young boy who arrives at Vivasaur Island, where he hopes to become the greatest fossil fighter there is. You'll receive your first Vivasaur spin axe, and you'll be able to start looking for fossils to turn into Vivasaurs to allow you to compete in level up battles, tests that will allow you to become stronger and progress in the story. Fossil Fighters has a very interesting narrative. You start out fighting an evil organization known as the BB Bandits, who are after these weird tiki dolls that the main character come across. Somehow a game about battling with with dinosaurs involved, ghost pirates, and even aliens. Hell, there's even a love triangle with the main character. I mean, this game is spicy. It may seem like a lot of this stuff was just thrown in to appeal to kids, but it's actually a really fun story that explains the origin of the reviving technology and the existence of humanity. But none of that matters when you need to choose between the girl that has money and a shape-shifting dinosaur woman. You meet a good amount of different characters throughout your Vivasaur journey. Rosie is pretty much your sidekick throughout the game until something happens to her like getting kidnapped or turning into a prehistoric rat and you need to save her in just about every chapter. Dr. Diggins is the scientist, the Professor Oak of the game if you will. He gives you your tutorial and fighter's license and he even gets sent back in time at one point. The BB Bandits are literally Team Rocket except the animal needs a translator to actually speak. You got the nice policeman who is kind and oh wait he's actually the evil boss man. Duna is the weird dinosaur alien chick who wants to wipe out all of humanity. Only way you can turn her good is by giving her the old protagonist charm. So many of these characters have entertaining personalities that make playing through the story so enjoyable. It's not the most well written story of a game by any means, but I like how this game doesn't take itself too seriously and has fun with it. There are 9 areas on Vivasaur Island where you can go digging for fossils. These areas open up to you when you progress with the story where you can find even more Vivasaurs. All you need is your sonar, fossil case, and your trusty pickaxe and you're set. You'll find different types of fossils. You'll get the dinosaur fossils jewel rocks and regular rocks. Ugh. Good thing you can buy sonar upgrades that will get rid of those rocks, find even more types of fossils, and increase your sonar range. You'll also need to upgrade your storage so you can carry more rocks, otherwise you'll need to swap some out when you're stacked. You can even take some fossil searching courses that will allow you to see a fossil's element and find dark fossil rocks. It's a bit annoying when you're digging fossils and a random fighter jumps from the ground claiming they saw the fossil first and challenges you to a battle for it. They do this with regular fossils occasionally, but they come out every time you find a jewel rock. Like, damn, I'm trying to get paid, girl! After finding your fossils, you'll need to take them to the fossil center to clean them off to revive them. The cleaning minigame alone is what makes this game one of the best games to utilize many of the DS's hardware features. The bottom screen has the fossil you need to clean and the top screen shows the timer. Yeah, you only have 90 seconds to clean your fossil. You have the x-ray that lets you sneak a peek at your fossil, the hammer lets you chip off a good amount of rock, and the drill is best for getting rid of the fine rock layer. Blowing into the microphone or repeatedly pressing L and R will get rid of the debris, which is pretty cool. You'll be able to get more powerful versions of the drill and hammer to better suit you for more stubborn fossils, but just keep in mind you also need to be careful because some fossils will be very delicate. As long as you reveal 50% of the fossil, you'll be 
be fine, but it's possible for you to break fossils and lose them forever. 90 seconds can be very short depending on the fossil, and the music that plays during this just adds on to the anxiety. Fossils can contain four different parts of a prehistoric beast. You can get the head, arms, legs, or body. If you want to revive a new vivisaur, you'll need to get that head. Arms, legs, and body will make it stronger by increasing its level and giving it a new move to use in battle, so it's important to get all the bones. Jewel rocks contain gems and pearls that you can sell, and dark fossil rocks can contain bones, which are red, which give a bonus to the overall score. Gems and droppings. Yeah, it's pretty sh you can still clean fossils you already discovered to be able to get a better score and make the vivisaur stronger. Or you can leave it with the clean robot who will clean them for you. Any fossils you clean that are under your highest score will be turned into donation points which you can use to get fossils unattainable in the dig sites. These are very good vivisaur so they are worth saving up for. Once you revive a vivisaur from its dirt nap, you can throw it into battle. Vivisaurs come in 5 different elements. Water. Earth. Fire air and neutral each type is either stronger or weaker to another type besides neutral it might be best if you take one of each with you throughout the game so that your team will be able to hold their own against any combination of vivisaurs you'll only be able to have five with you on your team and you can only use three with you in battle the other two left out will still get experience from your battles which is nice your vivisaurs and your opponents are thrown onto some hexagons otherwise known as the battlefield the battlefield consists of three zones the attack zone the support zones and the escape zone. The vivisaur in the attack zone is able to attack your opponent's vivisaurs that are in both the attack zone and the two support zones. It will deal the most damage but it will also receive the most damage. Vivisaurs in the support zones will only be able to attack vivisaurs in the attack zone but they will also apply support effects to your vivisaurs or your opponents. And vivisaurs in the escape zone will not be able to do damage or receive it. Vivisaurs can be placed in the escape zone when you're performing a swap or if a certain attack forces them the switch. Speaking of which, your Vivisaur is able to use skills once per turn, but as long as you have enough FP, multiple Vivisaurs can use a skill. The amount of FP you get depends on your character's rank, so progressing with the game will increase your FP. Using skills that deal damage is essential. You'll need to take out all of your opponent's Vivisaurs to win the battle. Some skills can inflict a status condition to help you win or lose if you're the one being inflicted. I know this seems like a lot at first, but it's surprisingly easy to get a hang of, especially when you know which types are stronger against others. It's also important to know which species of vivisaurs are best. Some are good when they are in the attack zone with a high amount of power, and some are best in the support zones with great support effects. You'll have a whopping 117 vivisaurs to choose from, including the T-Rexes, Stegosauruses, Pterodactyls, uh, chicks? a robot and apparently brains. You'll be doing a lot of battling in this game when you take on level up battles, fighters in the dig sites, and inside a giant planet eating alien. Oh, that's nice. Fossil Fighters is a very unique game for the DS, even though it's easily compared to Pokemon. But somehow it manages to be a fresh take on the monster hunting RPG genre, one that probably wouldn't have been possible without the DS hardware. There's something about going to active volcanoes and the depths of the ocean to look for fossils that contain your next killing machine of a dinosaur that make this game way more fun than it needed to be. Feeling that pressure of needing to clean the head of a vivisaur that you don't have yet under 90 seconds makes obtaining that vivisaur feel special, earned because you worked for it to be brought back to life. Interacting with the residents, the villains, the extraterrestrial life brings so much character and over the top personality to the world. You can even battle and trade fossils with somebody nearby. The developers went all out with this game. I mean Fossil Fighters is pretty much considered a hidden gem for the DS. Not a lot of people talk about it besides the cult following that have stuck with the series after so many years. The game isn't too expensive and it isn't very long so I highly recommend playing this for anyone who owns a DS system. I really do like Fossil Fighters, it was my childhood favorite and after so many years it still managed to be one of my favorite video games of all time. Fossil Fighters has no right being this good but I'm glad it is. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of Fossil Fighters down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Okay, what the f*** is this game?